Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? There's no reason. I have nothing really to prove. I don't have any idea why do I... Oh, oh hello! Hello, ladies, Jensen! Most glorious friends. Ready for another session of pure happiness. Mmm! Cannot wait. Cannot wait to get back to the Spelunker Trials. Let's get this incredible experience underway. Back into... Oh, wait, wait, this is... Well, that speed remote. There we go, yes. Ah, yes, Neo Babylon. It has been a little rough up until this point. But Neo Babylon is going to be so much easier than what came before. Don't you worry, I think I'm way, way too big here, I'm way too big. Let me just make myself a little smaller, there you go, there you go. I think now we are ready to face the extreme triviality, extreme triviality that's going to come to pass right now. A very easy gauntlet right here, okay. <laughs> ah, oh. Probably don't have time to go through that, right? Can I make no? Yeah, and we need to wait for it to bounce. I've not been able to record anything this week, that's why there was such a long delay. We have to wait for that to come back. So the timing here is just idiotic, isn't it? You son of a bitch. The reason why you saw no progress is not because I've been dreading this. The timing is just stupid here. Okay, we have to make it even tighter. Okay, we have to make it even tighter. Let me just jump off. We're gonna make this happen. All right, okay, that's it's doable. All right, <laughs> everything's doable. Everything is uh, properly engineered. Whatever failure happens is due to my incompetence. Having been able to record this week, just nothing but work. Gonna jump over that laser. He bounces back, of course he does. Had no day off whatsoever, so I just simply had not no chance. I have not been procrastinating because I knew this would be a horrendously difficult experience. No. I embrace the challenge. I bring it upon myself with full recognition of what it will entail. Clearly that needs to go down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe we can time this, like, make it automatic. Quickly. Ooh. Oh. That way I don't have a, to actually calculate. Yep. Yep. That does not come back up, does it? John, you son of a bitch! <laughs> no, you have to wait. You have to wait. Uh, if you would like some more Splunky content and just content in general, uh, please move to Fairbanks, Alaska and apply to work at the post office. Take off some of my workload. That is the only way. Look, the Great Resignation is not a fad in the sense of it's actually really happening. Nobody wants to apply at the post office. The pay is just not competitive anymore. It used to be, not anymore. Literally, we're taking anybody with a pulse. Maybe what the post office should do is go down to the southern border fill up a plane oh baby fill up a plane with uh, less than demanding new workers because clearly Americans don't want to do it let's just get people with lower standards it's a nightmare just like the lady in the view said who's gonna clean my toilet if you don't have illegal immigration like clearly who's gonna deliver my mail without illegal immigration yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just getting spicy right away. These are all jokes. Come on. There is a kernel of truth because that makes you giggle. You know. But nothing is sincere. 
I clearly accept, or rather, I am aware of all the societal and uh, geopolitical ramifications of such a horrendous, callous way to uh, conduct yourself. Actually, you know, it really would not be a bad deal. You go down, maybe not down to the border, but you go to any kind of immigration pro process. Um, man, this, is, this is nice. This is neat. I like it. You, you, uh, working out with the embassy of the people that are trying to apply. Don't go for the illegal immigration channel. Go for the legal immigration channel. See all those people that are in waiting lines. And you go, oh, you want to move to the U.S. because you have met somebody online? Instead of waiting for this horrible process of getting your K-1 visa process, I thought I had the timing right. Instead of waiting for your K-1 visa for, uh, done, here, have a job at the post office. We need somebody. Oh, you look qualified. Your heart seems to be beating. So, son of a bitch. Here you go. Here's the job. It's in Alaska. You don't really mind, do you? It really beats whatever circumstances you got going right now. And yeah, do you want to experience true love? Because you have met your match on the internet, but she happens to be an American living halfway across the world? The timing here is really not that bad. So the descent. Uh, this one I'm not sure about. Probably need to do something like this. I don't think I can go across though. Uh, you need to actually jump on top and then quickly jump across. Uh, if I had, like for example, if I had that kind of deal when I was applying for immigration, I would have taken it. Yeah. So it's not even exploitation. Why am I descending? <laughs> there was no right for that to work. And of course I threw into the garbage. Anyway, I am single-handedly solving the immigration problems right here in the United States. I hope that you appreciate my genius. A sight. Struggle. Through this gauntlet. I am certain this jump into is not possible. I'm going to attempt it just in case it's actually possible. <laughs> That's not possible. So I think maybe you just need to uh, rush. Without holding on to anything. Yup. I really like that though. It's pretty neat. Oh. Yeah! First time ever. It's always going to be a first time to get murdered in some humiliating way. No! You! Oh, the incredible salvage. No! You have to time that. You can't just jump down. Like you're trying to commit suicide and it's a pit with wolves at the bottom once again. To salvage it. All right. Man, that actually is way tighter than I was giving any credit before. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got this. All right. Maybe we don't have this. So anyway, that's the story of why there was no video this week. There's just no one to do my job. I have to do the job of several other people to, <laughs> to be able to get through the day. Packages have been just piling up because people love their toilet paper and paper towels. And there's no one to take it to your door. There's no one. So they've been just piling up at the post office. Never saw it, seen it this bad. It is a common saying that I give people all the time. I don't think this is possible. This is ain't even a possibility for me to accomplish this. Ow. I think we just need to jump across, hit the bone pile, and go down. Alright. 
Don't ask me about the track that is playing right now. I have no idea what part of Celeste this track is actually playing. Ah, the time there needs to be so tight. Jumping across lava pools and electricity beams. It's tight. No! This is the kind of incredible entertainment that you have come here to see. Yep, 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 yep. There's also been a pretty massive delay. What? That was full damage. My wife finally got the coof. I didn't get the coof. The coof? It is not allowed in my body. Don't know what it is about my incredible physique. Cannot tell you what the evil super Chinese coof finds in my person that is repellent and impervious. But while my poor wife has been ravaged by the China coof, I have been left completely unmolested. I am saying zero. Zero disturbance in my force. I don't know exactly what needs to happen there, unfortunately. And I'm not going to say this as a refuse a refutal of what may be happening. Just saying the gut feeling that may or may not be true, but probably isn't. Whenever you hear about the whole asymptomatic thing. Isn't part of you, or most of you, repelled by it, by the concept of how can I have, how can I carry an agent but show absolutely no symptoms of it? What happens then? Do I randomly develop an immunity to it eventually, and then it goes away? Does it just say, okay, I guess I'm done? Hitching a ride? I don't know exactly what needs to happen here. Clearly we need to get across. I think we'll just get across and that will be the next piece of the puzzle. Doesn't something inside of you say, that doesn't sound right. But historically I think there's been a lot of other diseases where some people are just like the patient zero that doesn't actually show any symptoms and they... What? That doesn't... What is happening there though? Do they carry it forever? Do the asymptomatic coof carriers carry it forever? Do they eventually get rid of it somehow? Not through personal defenses, clearly, because there is no symptoms. Therefore, the body is not fighting against it. So, what is happening there? Aquarian minds need to know. Yes, I could go out of my way to look this up, but I would rather, instead of looking it up and getting an, an authoritative answer, I would rather just speculate and plant this weird doubt in your head and then continue spreading that doubt through no scientific verification whatsoever, because that's the way that information truly spreads. You absolute moron. This is a rough time. I have come across a complete block in our progress here, in our first level of Neo Babylon. I thought that would be full damage. Ah! Every time the zap comes, I just don't expect it. So I'm always trying to make it under the wire. Ooh. All right, just one more. No, I think I want. It's garbage. So anyway, I choose to say I am not asymptomatic. I'm just impervious to all harm. I'm immune. Some people are like that. Not just asymptomatic, but simply immune completely to the coof. They just don't ever get it. 
It's not that they carry it and don't show symptoms. They just don't get it. I'm one of those guys. I'm... I knew that I was genetically superior. All right, so this is what happened. It's gonna drop. Oh my goodness, you can't do this to me. <laughs> so you're asking me to break the skull pile, hang on to the ledge, and then jump on top of the crush block. Only one swift motion. Like that. Man, I'm freaking great. <laughs> Not sure what needs to happen here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a one chance and I blew it. Um, okay, well, I'm glad that that was possible. We have to uh, commit suicide and return to the very beginning. Will I be able to pull that off twice in a row? I doubt it. Let's find out. Whoa. You know what? We can just rush in there, huh? <laughs> we can actually time that pretty nicely. Oh my goodness, I'm just an ace. I'm an ace! I think you're not supposed to run on top of tr the block. Yeah. You're not supposed to run on top of the block. You're supposed to simply jump up the way that you did the previous one. Whoop! Well, I've made some of these Celeste tracks. Some of them are extremely awesome and appropriate to what's happening on screen. Some others are a little too chirpy and silly for them to match the extremely serious gravitas of what's transpiring on the screen. Why was that so quick? All right, all right, all right. Can I pull this off? One more time. Yeah, yeah! That must be so painful. When that electric beam zaps straight into your face like that. I felt Paco's pain there. And when he cuts, it cuts, it's that perfect cut to black. It has even more impact. Oh! What? Like I am better off just jumping off immediately. What? <laughs> I feel like I should be there right now. It didn't work out. It wasn't really impatience. It was just getting uh, the sequence sequence incorrect. All right. That's also full damage, come on. We need to just run off the ledge without doing a tiny jump. I just like the tiny jump because it gives me a little bit more momentum to get through the lasers, you know. All right, that works. We need to see if that's 100% reli reliable. It should be. Ooh. All right, one, two. Ah, I got a little too uh, eager there. It's really tough. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been here. Probably entirely too long. But we may be forced to reduce play sessions. It used to be a biome for an hour. It may We may need 30 minutes per level. By the time we get to the sunken city, it will be just one level per video and it will take two hours each and you know what if that's what it takes that's what it takes i am 100 percent committed to this path that really is way more forgiving hey man that's so painful that jump up from the block is way more forgiving that you give it any credit for why are you so damn eager to descend sometimes I think because the elevators have an internal timer that has no bearing no relation to whether they can move or not the elevator has a timer to move and if you destroy the block right as it is trying to move downwards it's going to be going down Look at that.
Oh, that's a mistake. Let's go back. There you go. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was too slow. Man. It's only the first level. 20 minutes in. <laughs> there was some goofing off at the start. But still. How is this going to work out? It really isn't. Unless I make the video over an hour long. And I really don't like that. I guess I could start cutting out attempts. I don't like doing that, though. Part of me is like, I want an authentic uh, time frame of exactly how long... Okay. Exactly how long it took me to beat these levels for the first time. That's already busted, because I was cutting attempts from the very first video. So... You know, there's just no real record, even if the videos are out there. You can definitely add a good 10 to 15 minutes to each one. For the actual time that it took me to beat them. Ah! Whip too late. Unfortunate. Ow. Think about this entire ordeal. It really doesn't matter whether I am quietly focusing or randomly commenting on gameplay or telling you about what I had for lunch. It was delicious fried club. You may hear that and say, what the hell is club? Do you have maybe a golf club? Fried and sauteed? With golf balls? Do you maybe go to the turtle club? Nope. Oh, yeah. What the hell is club? Club is a Norwegian poor man's dish. Traditionally made. With lots of flour, some potato. And a little bit of meat inside. And there are these weird meat flour potato balls that Norwegians would have in times of times of scarcity. My wife learned that recipe when she was very little. And definitely she was at a time of scarcity when she learned it. And only very recently did I finally convince her to say to, uh, you know, we're not eating uh, shoe soles anymore. You can put a little bit more meat inside the club balls now. And we will not go broke. Club balls became like three times more delicious. Because of the meat content going up in such a enriching manner. It's a dish that I would have never guessed that I would very much enjoy. But there you have it. You, she makes uh, all kinds of balls. No! She makes all kinds of balls. Freezes a bunch. The first ones you have them fresh. Then the others that you reheat, you fry them up. Some butter. You may want to dip them with even ketchup or mayonnaise. Have some fried eggs with them. Some ham on the side. Treat them like a... Like the potato component of a pancake breakfast. What? What do you mean? Your pancake breakfast has no potato component. What kind of savage are you? A pancake breakfast, and when I say a pancake breakfast, this breakfast can also contain waffles or French toast. They are the, the pancake substitute that you may want to have or not have. It doesn't matter. Exactly, whether it's pancakes or not, it is pancake or pancake adjacent. You have that, and there must be bacon or ham. Sometimes if you feel especially lavish, you can have both. I don't know why I'm doing this, trying to like super duper rush through this. Just wait for the opportunity to happen. No, why are you rushing down there? It worked out, but it shouldn't have. Son of a bitch. So anyway, your 
pancake breakfast. That's the meat component, ham or bacon. The potato component, it can be hash browns. Or clue, the potato component, it doesn't really need it. I often have pancake breakfast that does not have a potato component, but it, it is a strong compliment. Oh, that's not good. A strong component of your pancake breakfast. And then you must also have an egg component, either scrambled or fried. I think the egg component is extremely vital to the pancake breakfast. Without an egg component, you are just basically driving a car without an exhaust manifold. Or, oh no, or without an axle. You're just not having a pancake breakfast at that point. You're just having a pancake with some syrup, maybe. Try to go easy on the syrup. It's a giant sugar bomb. That probably is the most sugary and unhealthy component of your pancake breakfast. This is a completely irrelevant diatribe. If you are not of an American culture, I uh, was never aware of the pancake breakfast meta in the United States until I moved up here. No, you can't do without it. It's a, it's a Sunday event. All right. All right, well, I made a little bit of progress. I thought that I didn't have it there, but I did have it. We need the impulse. We go up. All right. We need to go up to the tile. Okay, this is not complicated by the timing. It's difficult for my little brain. You know, a one tile gap. You don't need to hear me rant about one tile gaps. And you really want to make your pancake breakfast really pop, though. That's when you enter the monkey placenta, the bear tongue. That's, I think that's only like Alaskan special, the reindeer gonad component. That's a, a, a very special tang to your pancake arrangement. Oh, I thought that I actually had that. Very, very well timed, very unfortunate. Hip. Am I jumping down? <laughs> oh, that was way too slow. Man, this is rough. But honestly, I do feel we have this pretty down pat at the very beginning. I am still failing now and then. But there's no reason to subject you to this part anymore. So let's start. Cutting it out. After the next death. No! This part's still real tough, so I'm gonna... Yeah. I don't know exactly how to time that properly. Oh, every time I never know whether it's gonna work or not. You have to jump away from it a little bit. I still don't feel like I... Like, every time I try to do that... I have no way to predict whether it's gonna work or not. And that speaks to me. It tells me that I don't know how it works. Which means I need to work out some way to make it uh, uh, reproducible. In the sense of if I know how it works, I can get there and all it takes is execution instead of random chance. Oh, I didn't think... I thought I was dead. This is it. This is the real deal. This is when the attempt is going to go from disaster... No, it was, uh, it was not. Turns out I was lying all along. Another alternative to you going to Alaska and applying to be a mailman is you could make a small donation of a million dollars to any uh, of my outlets, you could go it on PayPal and uh, make a small contribution of a million dollars. 
You could go to subscribe star and pay me a tip of a million dollars. No! Son of a disgusting one-eyed mule. You garbage creature. Gobbling all sorts of semen. I cannot believe I threw in such a manner after I actually got through the difficult part. Like that part over there is super... Oh, come on. That was not full damage. I have been scammed. I have been horrendously scammed. Anyway, give me your free money. I mean, free for me. I'm sure it wasn't free for you to attain it. But if you just give it to me, I'll be able to just not need to work for a living anymore. Come on, brother. I thought I had that quite handily. And I was cheated. I was horrendously cheated. From success right there. I think the trick is to get a little bit of distance. You can push that to delay the inevitable. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we have returned. I am recording, right? Yeah, I did resume it. Only 30 minutes in with a bunch of attempts cut out. What is this nightmare that is coming up? I don't even want to look at it, man. Just one at a time, okay? Just one at a time. Alright, this is not bad. Then you go through and you will have some time to rest. Alright, this is really not bad. Alright, next gauntlet. Not sure what I need to do, and that is uh, quite the problem. My guess. I don't even have a guess, brother. <laughs> oh, because I don't know the dynamics of it. Like, if I get onto the elevator, like, just, just consider this. I get onto the elevator, I jump to trigger the 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 turrets. Where do I land? Like I need to trigger the turrets in some kind of creative way. Actually, if I get onto the edge... No, if I get onto the far left... Yeah, I got crushed! <laughs> I was trying to think it out! I didn't even get an attempt in. That is just cruel. Absolute cruelty. I can't freaking believe... Dealing with this... I don't think I need to prove anymore but I have mastered the beginning there's still failures but that's just because you know my fingers can cannot perform a hundred percent of the time so sometimes I just don't get it right but the theory is there I got all of the know-how now it's just a matter of performing properly oh I did not turn around I feel like I don't even need to cut out attempts anymore because uh, we get there quite not easily, but pretty decent time every time. Ooh, I thought that jump was too generous, but it worked out. Uh, whipped way too late there, I was able to tell. Often I, I cannot tell whether I did it right or not. It's just a matter of, oh, did it work? I guess not, because I'm dead. But this time around I could tell. Ah, oh, that was not properly timed. Because I got there a little late. Due to the fact that I did not do that properly. That starts right here. Anyway, that's uh, the entirety of my options right there. Yeah. You either come up here and give me physical assistance. Or become my sugar daddy. You can't even ask for... Even if you ask for a couple blow gerbs, yeah, I'll give them. If you become my benefactor, man, I don't have a problem with sexual favors now and then. That's just the price of doing business. I don't understand all these weird hangups that people had a couple of years ago about uh, women exchanging sexual favors for advancement in their careers. Like, yeah, I would totally do that if it solves my my situation. I'm okay with being a whore. 
I just don't understand the problem. What was all this silly Me Too nonsense about? They were just really soft people is what's going on. Just, just put up with a little bit of harassment. Just people that just can't really handle the pressure. Really, uh, that's that's the long and short of it, really. Anyway, I think I'm I'm done with the spicy quote-unquote jokes for the time being. Let's get back to this garbage. Anyway, so anyway, if I hold on to this side, I will get zapped. Okay, I'm going to try what I'm going to try. I saw that happening in my mind's eye, but my fingers kept me on that path. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like my brain had the thought, if you continue moving forward and try to get into this little area over here while the elevator is going up, you will be crushed. But my fingers were like, but I want to be there. If I go forward, I'll obviously be there. Guess who won that intellectual tug of war? Ow. That's why muscles always prevail over the purview of the brain. That's why so many men think with their dicks, you son of a bitch. Because the brain can tell. The, the, brain, the brain can always tell, like, Man, this is a pretty terrible idea. Why are you doing it? Meanwhile, the dick was like, <laughs> wet hole goes. <laughs> and, you know, consequences are not for the dick to deal with. Therefore, the sad, pathetic, sad sack of the brain pan. All right, we got this, baby. This jump is actually not bad. Yep. This section is also not bad. Just a matter of getting to that one block tile. Now, come over here, you hang on to here, you jump! Actually, okay. <laughs> okay, what kind of trap do you have for me? Nothing, right? Oh, baby, only 37 minutes. Three more levels of New Babylon, I am sure. They're all so much easier than what we just went through. Ow. Okay, let's see if we can get the timing on this one, like, mechanically. Maybe hang on to the thing. Yeah, and you go down. That's the important part. Like, mechanize as much as possible. Ah! <laughs> oh, but if you do it too well, you actually get wrecked. Uh, all right, we got some time to just wait here, so let's do that. Clearly, we just need to beat the timing of these balls. Doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look that bad. Like I said, mechanize it. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how to go around the second one. Yeah, you don't really have much time to get up there. Has to be some way to dodge it. Hmm. I need to go under? Nah, there's no way under. It simply is uh, managing the timing, huh? Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Manage the timing so you get there exactly at the moment that it gives you the most, the most time. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, oh, <laughs> you gotta wait until this particular one is almost at your butt. There may even be a difference in at the rate that they travel. So you have to wait exact like they are out of phase or something. So you have to wait one loop. This is really not bad so far. No, 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 no. Woohoo! That had no right to work. Just like most young people in the United States. Isn't that right, fellas? The job market is fantastic right now. It's the... It's the seller's market. 
Or is it a buyer's market? Either way, the worker has most of the choices. I was too damn eager. Uh, really liking this level much better. Doesn't seem to be nearly as unforgiving so far. Maybe I am somehow in tune. Somehow in tune. I'm trying to go through without having to hand to the ledge. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Concentration. Really liking this track to go along with this level. I want to take advantage of it. The groove is happening. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, very, very spelunky of you. Very Derek U esque. Okay, okay, we, we can do another, another loop here. Yeah, they are out of phase. So you actually have to wait a little bit. For this loop, <laughs> you have to wait a little bit for the loop to be appropriate. Ah, it's not gonna work. I wait that loop, and then you do that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not working out. It's not working out. I think this won't work. Yeah. You know, it's too damn successful for my own good. Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life. I'm just too great at what I set out to accomplish. So I need to hold back. That's what happens to me as a, as a mailman, too. I am too good. This is a true story. I am too good at it. I need to slow down so that I am not doing too much work and I get asked to help some other absolute piece of garbage that doesn't do nearly as well. Eee. You didn't get me this time, you piece of garbage! Okay, so... No, oof. This is tough. I got this under control, don't worry. <laughs> oh man. I am sure that level act that little bit over there actually requires you to do that at some point. You have to jump in place a little. Nope. Nope. You don't need to do that jump. It just helps. I, I am doing it this way. I, it worked out. Just don't think about it. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> Forward, I think. Holy crap. Oh, I... Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what I need to do. <laughs> Crap, man, the timing on these is... It just looks so strange and overwhelming. What is happening down there? I don't know what that is supposed to be, but... We're just going forward. It was a tough one. It was a tough one to turn around and get there. Man, can I even make it back? Can I even make it back? Ah! Anyway. What I'm trying to say is that I am too good and I am constantly having to hold back for the benefit of everybody around me. Just like in this particular environment. Do you think I am truly struggling? Please. I have repeated this many times when I was getting through Spelunky and through the 799 challenge. I need to handicap myself. I need to pretend I'm not as good. So everybody that's watching doesn't feel horrendously inadequate in their lives, you know? 
I can just be effortless. If I wanted to, but it's a matter of striking that balance of impressing you, but not too much to the point that you're like, if I watch this, my life will lose all meaning because there's no way I could ever be as incredible. No! Even those reactions of being disappointed that I just did. Nope, too eager. It's all built in for a maximum effect of making you feel good about yourself. You're welcome, by the way. Do you see that incredible micro-correction that I just did? That's the kind of thing that slips out when I am not constantly watching to make myself worse. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh, the burden I must carry. My married life too. It's like I constantly need to be to pretend to be stupider and less competent than what I actually am. So that way my wife can feel like she is an equal partner in this relationship and she's not completely useless because I could get done everything even better than everything that she tries to accomplish. Like I could be an excellent baker and cook and, and sexual gratification all by myself. But just because I want her to be an equal partner in this relationship, I need to pretend to not to be able to uh, do certain things or rather be uh, less competent at them than I actually am. It's just such a heavy burden that I carry. Sometimes I go a little overboard with it and concoct some kind of silly disaster just to all to keep up appearance. That, that silly concept that everybody's human, everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes the mistakes are going to be huge. So I have to do it now and then to keep up the illusion. Let me assure you, it's all planned. It's all an act. Oh, you're, what you're witnessing right now is not me being bad. It's me bringing it down to your level. You know, let's be clear about that. Let's be crystal clear. Oh, where you stand and where I stand. Because uh, <laughs> I want you to get any illusions that you're in any way, even close to the pinnacle of my incredible intellect. Want that to be anything that comes even close to your brain and obviously i'm telling you all this in, in, at the detriment of making you feel good How about yourself like i said it's all a balancing act and i think i strike it perfectly refer to all the things that i have been saying i strike that balancing act perfectly because i am so good at everything i try to accomplish even at being imperfect, I'm perfect. I just can't help it. This part, by the way, is just a nightmare. I hate it. <laughs> it's uh, it's like one of those things when if you give it even a tiny bit too much thought, uh, you're not going to succeed. You have to just go with your gut. And I hate that. Because it means that I can't just think it through. I have to just jump in and do it right. Very tough. Whoop. So I want to see a giant string of string of thank yous in the comments for making you silly brainlets be able to carry on with your diminished intellectual prowess. Sometimes I wonder, just like, how do people do it, man? 
How do they get through their day with such tiny, tiny brains? This must suck to live inside their bodies. There's somebody at the post office. Getting a little too specific here. But you know those stories? Sometimes you see something in the news going, so-and-so was arrested in Arizona after they discovered he was hoarding 20,000 pieces of catalogs in their home because they took the mail home. They didn't want to deliver them. And we had always wondered, how can anybody be that stupid? Nobody can be that stupid. I have now met somebody at the post office that, yeah, they are that stupid. I will not be surprised in the slightest if it does come out that they have been taking the mail home because they didn't want to deliver it. That's how, like, it's unreal, man. It's like, holy crap, how do you even exist? How do you get through school? How do you, have you built a life? How are you not a special needs quota? I cannot believe it. It's truly is, is baffling. And that section is a nightmare. I think maybe what I need to do is get to the first and then jump in place. So I can find a way to get through. Get a proper timing going. Like in this one right here. Do this and then just jump. Figure it out. Because I don't think I die in those jumps. It's a nightmare. That's what I'm trying to say. Once again, it's a place that I got through with luck. Ah! I got through it with luck. Huh. Never again. I was, I was too good there. I was too damn good. I think our wonderful Celeste soundtrack has looped once. I was thinking once the Celeste soundtrack is done, I'm going to put on Super Meat Boy. I'm too damn invested in this now. Yeah. I was like, don't think about it. Just go. It's too difficult. It's too difficult. And I do get this far fairly reliably. Maybe to the oh, point. It's time to start cutting out this part. Because as we can see, it's already 53 minutes level 2 of Neo Babylon. I thought this one would be a little faster because of how nicely we were progressing at the start. Getting a nice, uh, enormous freaking wall here, though. Ah! The problem with that obstacle is that I tunnel vision a lot on the timing of one of the obstacles. Either the ball or the zapper. Failed to have into account the second one. And I get zapped in the balls. I hate this jump. <laughs> there we are. No! Here we are again. It's going to happen. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Once again, not really crediting my incredible skill. Created nothing but luck over there. Woo. Timing here is so rough. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap, man. <laughs> okay. That's the exit. That's the exit. I think this jump is possible. I'm gonna attempt it. While hanging, I'm pretty sure I reach the other side. 
But I might need to get on top so I'm able to get through in time. I'm just gonna try it like this and see what happens. Yeah, baby! John, suck it. <laughs> All right, one more. Ah, oh, let's go in here. I think it's 55 minutes, man. This is it. I'm going to leave it right here. I was joking this may happen. It actually did happen two levels per video. I'm okay with that. We're going to get through it. If I try to push through and just get to the end and make a two-hour video... I'm going to burn out on it. I'm ha still having a great time. Hopefully you are as well. Just accompanying me for all the silly dumb takes and the spicy nonsense that I keep saying just to get a rice out of somebody. Nothing is sincere, but everything is sincere. You can never tell. You can never tell. Ooh, it's irony. <laughs>